Technology has been the bedrock of air quality monitoring for a long time. With the increased awareness of methane's impact on the environment, monitoring of methane is increasing as well. And in order to reduce the amount of methane that's being emitted into the atmosphere, we need better detection technologies. The most important thing for the future of technology, you want to get the right partners together, both on the regulatory side, within industry, within technology providers, and to all come together and find a workable solution that's good for everybody. We are here in San Antonio testing methane emissions detection technologies. We are very excited as Slumberger to have a partnership with the Environmental Defense Fund. Methane is an invisible gas. It accounts for about a quarter of the warming that we're experiencing now. It's the most powerful greenhouse gas that some people have still never heard of. And it's critical that in addressing climate change, we reduce not just carbon dioxide, but also methane emissions. There are a tremendous number of wells operating in a large infrastructure to take the hydrocarbons that are produced there and move them into the cities and, and into our houses. And leaks occur throughout that system. You have the wider community in, in the geographic area that wants to know what they're being exposed to potentially through methane leakage. There are solutions for stopping these leaks from happening, but we first need to know where they are. The industry does not have an efficient way to identify where these leaks are. And that really got us thinking that one of the things that we could do that would benefit the environment was the focus on the methane problem. There's a huge opportunity for technology companies to unleash the sensor revolution for better, faster, cheaper approaches to monitor and ultimately to reduce methane emissions. There's definitely a lot of innovation taking place. Stationary point sources, laser-based technology, panel devices. Can you push the technology envelope in a way such that you can distribute several million of these sensors around, then you can start getting very good spatial maps of and various kinds of pollution that affect our everyday life. What previously was unseen is now at the fingertips of oil and gas operators and they can respond and take action to reduce pollution in near real time. Schlumberger has the footprint to deploy these sorts of technologies on a scale that can make sense from a global perspective. EDF is very single-minded in their pursuit of solutions that really make sense. Innovation happens when we build bridges. You have to bring together companies that need solutions and companies and stakeholders that are able to provide them. This kind of collaboration between industry, nonprofit, and new startups is ideal. This is bound to create some solutions for the future. It's a win-win-win.